Today I'm going to be talking about how to read World of Logs logs. So what you see here is the dashboard that you get put to when you click on one of our Worlds of Logs links. Uh, this has all of the information from the raid that in our case we just did on Sunday night. And you can see that it gives us a whole bunch of information but frankly none of it is really useful. We kind of want to look at a log on a fight by fight basis. So what we can do is we can go up to full report here and we can say bosses, we can check kills, or we could check wipes. So for example, let's take our Elegon 10 normal kill that we did tonight. So we'll go full report, kills, and click on Elegon. This brings us to a new web page. This web page has information on the actual fight itself, including the duration, uh, a DPS chart, and how much damage we did and how much damage we took as well as our total HPS and our total DPS and how much our overhealing was as a raid. This is more information that's more useful in a bite-sized piece for the fight but you probably want to know more about how you did uh, as opposed to how the raid did in aggregate. So what you can do then is you can go down and you can hit analyze. So on analyze you can check damage done damage taken, healing done, hostile healing, or friendly fire. Let's for example take damage done. This will bring us to a new page that will give us a chart of the total damage done along it with it automatically selects the top three damage dealers for the fight to display in the chart. You can check and uncheck things so that you can get your own graph. So for example this is my damage throughput in the fight and for Elegon you can assume that the big spike at the end, of course, would be our big run at the end for the last 30% of his hit points, and you can just see over time how much damage you do. In a fight that's gimmicky like Elegon, you're, you're going to expect to have kind of spikes all over the place. In a fight like Fang, you would probably want to have something that's a bit smoother than that. Down here, we can see the total amount of damage each player has done on the boss and what percentage they did of the raid total, as well as a graphical representation thereof. You also see their effective DPS and their actual DPS as well as their active time. So if you want to get into the details of a particular person, what you can do is you can just select their name here and drill down even further. It brings us to a web page here which gives us a nice graph which tells us a lot of stuff, but again not really that useful. Let's look at the actual details here. So for example for Exlar, an enhancement shaman, we have damage by spell. You can see all the different spells that the enhancement shaman uses, which is a significant number, and you can see how much damage each spell did over the course of the fight and what percentage of their total DPS was. You can also see the number of hits that they did, the average amount for the hit, and the total for those as well as crits. You can also see how many times the attack was blocked, and if it's a dot, you can also see the number of ticks. And then another important thing, so for example, this is my flame shock. You can see the total damage done, and the total damage via ticks, and what the average DP, uh, sorry, the average damage each tick does. But here you can see uptime, so you can see my uptime was approximately 82.4%. Uh, which is pretty good for flame shock, especially given that there's parts of the fight where I probably won't have a flame shock on anything, uh, especially in transitions. You can also see the number of misses that you had. You can also see how much damage that you took. So for example, you can check to see uh, how much damage that might be avoidable. For example, uh, as an enhancement shaman, I probably shouldn't be being meleeed at all which means that I've taken nearly half a million damage, which I would assume was probably from the smaller adds in phase three. Because if Elegon had hit me, I would be dead. Now, another thing you can do, so you can click on a healer to drill down into the healer uh, stats and find out more about the healing by spell that they did. Uh, as an enhancement shaman, I have some off healing, so you can see healing by spell. You can see that I did Healing Rain, I used Ancestral Guidance, Healing Surge, Hellstone, Gift of the Naro, and Chain Heal. And again, you can see how much healing was done, and you can see how much 
healing was done by direct heals as well as how many healing was done by ticks and the uptime on those ticks. So for buffs or for other types of things you can check to see what your uptime is. Uh, you can also see how much overhealing you've done on that particular ability in this column. Finally, one of the other things that's usually really good to have more information is about buffs. Buffs cast uh, is a very important set of information, especially if you're trying to figure out things like uh, your uptime for your uh, mage runes, for example. So here you can see all of the different buffs I've gained, all of the different debuffs that I cast, and all of the power that I've gained. So for example, you can see that my uptime for for Ghost Wolf was 14%. So I actually spent 14% of the entire fight in Ghost Wolf. Or you can see the uptime for Heroism was 7.8% of the fight, and so on and so forth. You can also click on the details to get the buff details on when that actually occurred. So you can see here, there's a little bar for when the buff occurred, for example. Or I could say a little more interesting, Flurry. You can see the bar of how long Flurry had an uptime. Now Flurry isn't controllable, it occurs on a crit, so the uptime on Flurry is going to be quite variable. Well here's another one, Flame Shock. So you can see that I had one buff, and here I had the Flame Shock up on two mobs. And then here I had it on five different mobs. So the, basically, the more solid the bar is, the more targets that you have the buff, the debuff or buff on. This is excellent for finding out more about uh, wipes as well, as well as kills. Let's take a look at the first wipe. Because what the first wipe can give us is deaths. So we can click on the deaths tab and see, now this is the details for me, on Elegon Try 1, and we can see that I died via melee, probably when we were wiping. Uh, we could go to a back to the dashboard to get out of my statistics particularly, and we're still on, let's do a kill on Garage All the Spirit Binder. And you can see here if we go to Analyze deaths overview, we can see that character died to Voodoo Doll. And you can see more of the last events before death. So character basically died within four seconds of 200,000 damage. And that's about all you really need to know about World of Logs to get you started. There's lots of different things that you can take a look at and lots of information that you can follow through on. But for the most part, uh, being able to get down, drilling down to your own DPS or your own healing statistics will be able to get you a vast majority of the information that you need.